E aí pessoal, beleza? Bom, hoje estou aqui para mais um vídeo da série de Genshin Impact. Vamos continuar, né? Se você quiser ver essa série desde o início, eu vou deixar um card aqui em cima. E se puder, se inscrever no canal e ativar o sininho, ajuda demais, beleza pessoal? É o seguinte, primeiro vamos aqui pegar os prêmios da missão diária, né? Tá aí. E... Perfeito. Temos também. É, tem um evento. Vamos lá fazer o um evento rapidão, eles não vou acabar esquecendo, vai. O final do evento. Que é esse aqui que eu quero fazer, ó. Vamos lá rapidão, vai. Eu vou acabar esquecendo, tá sem zoeira. Já, já não tá aparecendo notificação ali mais. Aí é uma maior possibilidade de eu, de eu esquecer. Né? A gente vence ali logo. Eu só quero vencer pra ganhar 60. Gemas lá douradas lá, né? 60. Bora. Aí a gente volta pra missão. Beleza? Tá aqui, ó. Morrer da. da né? É. O Mega Tio Místico está de alguma maneira ficando mais forte conforme vocês lutam e ganhou controle sobre vários aspectos de domínio em Juosidade Divina. Melhor vencer logo e acabar com as ilusões dele. Não é saudável o Hilichu ficar enfurnado esperando por brigas e conflitos enquanto seus amiguinhos se divertem. Bora. E bora. Vamos pegar 60, 60 itens ali. Eu sempre esqueço o nome. Foi mal, tá bom? Vamos lá. Ó. Ó, o Mega Chu sabe todos os truques de domínio. Se adapte à situação para derrotar este inimigo. Vamos lá. Eu vou só tentar vencer, tá, galera? Quer dizer, 9 minutos? Como assim, 19 minutos, gente? Não é possível um negócio desse. Não, pera aí. Tô pangando. Ele tá só derrubando o chão e eu tô pangando, né? Eu quase morri ali. Não é não? Tá, ele é mais forte do que os outros. Muito mais vida, né? Tá. Deixa o Oswaldo aqui perto dele E o Buba também Tá Ele vai escorregar Escorregou, caiu Bora Faz o Buba Faz o Oswaldo Gira, gira Solidify Calma, cara, fica de boa. Fica de boa, meu parceiro. Tá. Ah, tá, peraí. Pelo amor, eu também, viu? É que eu esqueci dessa mecânica. Eu esqueci de muita coisa, vocês estão ligados? Bora. Na calma, na graciosidade. Segura. É que esse, esse Hilichu aqui, ele é... E olha lá. Ele ia pular. Pô. Ele ia pular. Quando não é pra pular? Ué? Ou ele pula nessa parte também? Não me lembro. Vai tá aí. O que, que você vai arrumar, cara? O Osvaldo acabando com ele, ó. Fala dele. Tá. Toma. Toma. 
E toma. E aí está. Não fiz o tempo, mas tá bom. Importante que a gente pegou o prêmio mais importante. Né? Vamos lá, ó. Vem aqui. Ah, fi fizemos os três. Daí, melhor ainda. Aí. E conseguimos um item diferenciado desse aí, ó. Jornada pelo terreno Hiritu. Bom, então vamos voltar para nossa missão, galera. Nossa missão. Sonhos, vazio e engano. Hostilidade no grupo. Verifique a situação em frente à casa do chefe da vila Al Auru. Né? Você perdeu temporariamente o suporte de Nárida, mas de acordo com as mensagens deixadas por ela, você encontrará no deserto um ajudante que poderá reverter a situação. Para sabotar a conspiração da Academia e dos Fatui, você embarca em uma jornada novamente. Perfeito? Se eu cancelar e navegar de novo, já vai lá, né? Eu nem vim aqui nesse teleporte para não, né? Vai que eu venho aqui e ativo a missão, então. Não corri esse risco. Melhor assim, né? É isso. O pessoal falou que vai vir o caso aí no futuro, né? O caso aí. E falaram para eu guardar giro para ele. Se vier a ficha ou antes, eu vou gastar na ficha. Mas se não vier, a gente faz aí, tá bom? Ah, esses são os monstros? De boa. Cão de fenda? Esse eu já enfrentei antes. Yes. They just keep coming in waves. I've lost count of how many I've defeated. For I realized it, even the sandstorm. Ela não só é muito forte em combate, a resistência dela também é. Leave this round to us. I got interrupted earlier, but now I have something to take. Vai lá, filha, se vira. It's been quite a while since I've seen the flame main in action. I'll be sure to put on a good show. Let's go. Bora. Vamos lutar mesmo? Com ela? Tipo, ela vai estar aqui do lado? Não peguei aquele observatório ali, não? Pera aí, bicho. Abrigo dos refugiados. Eu achei que eu tinha pego isso aqui. Eu acho que eu tinha visto ontem, né? Buba. Solidify. Tá. É, tá vendo muito, né? É, é, a Kenda se já levou alguns, né? Então meio que tá vendo infinito, né? Chama ele. Olha a minha vida, olha a minha vida. Quase morri, esse bicho é perfurante, né? Quase deu ruim. O que nós lutamos agora foi o aftermath do sandstorm. Então, nós devemos estar seguros para o tempo. Bem feito, todos. Não há injuries, eu espero. Quem é isso aí? Quem é você? Ah, minhas desculpas. Eu não tive a oportunidade de te agradecer ainda. Eu tive minhas mãos full, tomando cuidado dos vilagens, dos velhos e... Eu sou o chefe do Aru Village. Todos geralmente me chamam de Uncle Anpu. É encantado, Tio Anpu. É nóis. Senhor, eu também sou originalmente do deserto. But I have not been back for some time now. I can't say they've always been common, uh, but recently the storms have become increasingly severe. Besides sandstorms, we also occasionally get earthquakes. Uh, according to an investigator who stayed in the village a while ago, these unusual natural phenomena é, are related to the weather. É, isso que mais rápido possível. Another effect of Ermansol's so. Ermansol's weathering causes weathering zones in the forest, and sandstorms and earthquakes here. Everything in the natural world is inextricably connected to Ermansol. These regional symptoms can indeed be a reflection of Ermansol's present state. Inextricavelmente, louco. 
everyone in Aru Village needs to take good care of them. Uh, speaking of which, why haven't I seen a single Village Keeper since I got here? Village Keeper? Who are they? Village guards like... Does your curiosity know no bounds? Village Keeper is how Aru Village refers to mad scholars, exiled here by the Academe. Most of them are scholars who lost their sanity after a period of training in the Avidia Forest. Oxi, o menino correndo lá atrás lá é o menino doido. Tá, são o pessoal que foi expulso da academia. The academia believes that their crazed mutterings may have a negative effect on the psyches of other scholars. So, they're forcibly exiled to the desert. Now, if you ask é. me, é verdade. Né? A Ipeza quase foi exilada. Exactly Só o Tinhar não deixou. One by one, the village keepers have been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. O louco. But no one in the village has ever seen them leave. If you're planning to stay around the village for the next few days, I'd appreciate it if you could keep an eye out for. I've had encounters with those people in the past. I'll see. The Macho are the ones responsible for their exile. Now that you're no longer with them. Are you trying to alleviate your guilt and atone for your past sins? <laughs> I'm fascinated by how you mock me if you will. But if you are guilty, I will eliminate you. Regardless oh, of my position. Oh, you're the former general Mahamatra. You must be an expert in these kinds Eu of things. Is it because you're reminded of Hapasia? Oh, these poor scholars. First they lose their sanity, now this! But uh is it really a good idea to tag along with Sino? You seem like you really don't trust him. Eu não confio nele nem no Alai tão maluco ali. É por isso que a oportunidade perfeita para observá-lo vai ficar tudo bem. Já é, os outros também estão aqui. Observá-lo. I'll be grateful for the assistance. <laughs> no doubt you will do a better job than some of my former subordinates. Let's start by finding a spot to share what we know so far. Vamos lá. Troca informações com o sino. Bom que a gente pega o ponto de teleporte ali também, vamos embora. Opa, eu quero esse negócio. Peraí, o ponto de teleporte tá lá em cima, velho. Era pra subir por ali, ó. Deixa eu usar esse negócio de areia aqui. Primeira vez que eu vou usar. Ah, garoto. Só isso? Ah. ah, não é possível que não tem coisa pra ir pra lá. Ah, o elevador. Estamos subindo, finalmente. Pronto, muito obrigado, elevador. Maruf. Mano, como é que eu subo ali, jogo? Me ajuda. A missão é aqui. O ponto de teleporte é aqui. O negócio... Tá em cima da casa, será? Olha, tá nesse rumo aqui na frente, ó. Ah, tá aqui. Achei que ele tá ali em cima da pedra, tá ligado? Menos mal que ele tá aqui. Bora. Vamos lá, discutir o plano. Fala comigo, cara. Although I've sent myself into exile, I'm still doing essentially the same things as before. Do you still have any questions for me before we start our investigation? Por que eles se, se referem aos estudiosos loucos como sendo guardiões da vila? One of my former subordinates told me that this title has its origins in a strange incident. The academia has long exiled mad scholars to Aru village. A mysterious... When mad scholars first arrive, they are as incoherent and deranged as before. But, after spending some time here... Ah. Initially, the people of Aru village greatly resented having to take in the mad scholars. 
But a strange incident one night, Chain Aru Village was struck by the strongest earthquake in living memory. Seeing buildings on the verge of collapse all around him, the then suddenly, he noticed a mad scholar crouching in a corner, caressing the ground with his hands. A soft green light radiated from him, like despite the powerful tremors that ripped through the ground that night, all the houses remained upright, almost oh no. as if they had grown after that. The people of Aru village treated the mad scholars with greater kindness and began to refer Dang, to them. A soft green light? A mad scholar protecting Aru village? Hmm. What do you make of it, traveler? Deve ter sido na ida. É, pode ser, né? Ela pode ter entrado na mente, né? De um. De um desses loucos da academia. Entrado entra na mente dele. E feito isso aí. Paimon thinks so too. Actually, Sino, do you know if any of the mad scholars continued to wear their Akasha terminals at Aru Village? In theory. They would continue wearing them so the academia could still monitor their activities. With that said, the main Akasha systems are not allowed to be in the same Oh, no wonder! Everything makes sense then! Add in the fact that they calmed down, it was probably Nahida who calmed them. Tá. If you are able to draw a conclusion from this one story alone, then it appears you possess so. What do you make of the story? O poder daquele estudioso louco deve ter vindo da Lorde Menor. Really? Lesser Lord. Hmm. What? You don't believe us? Lesser Lord Kusanali was definitely using the Akash. No, it's not so much that I don't believe you. I'm just struck by your reasoning. Lesser Lord Kusanali, the current Dendro Archon. Is she re the Academia has always placed far greater importance on the late Greater Lord Ruka Devata. They've more or less ignored Lesser Lord Kusanali. In addition, I've never heard any stories about Lesser Lord Kusanali and her deeds. To me, she might... No way! Nahida definitely exists! She's a... How should Paimon put it? She's a good Archon who's kind and wise. Even if she says so, vamos estar de sumeru com ela. I've spent many years interrogating criminals, so I can easily tell. Good, then you should know that we're telling the truth. That look in your eyes. How can this be? To think, our Archon has been amongst us this entire time. All right, now it's our turn to put our skills to good use for this investigation. Pode apostar. Especially since we don't have any leads. Hmm. Maybe we can start by now. Excuse me. Are you here to help me find my grandpa? Make it. Huh? Who? By the sounds of it, a resident of this village. My name is Isak. You'll help me find my grandpa. Is your grandpa a mad scholar? Hey, don't say that. Grandpa is just grandpa. Why do you have to? <sighs> The person you're referring to is not a local, yet you are. Why do you call him? Grandpa is just Grandpa. He is my family. I, I heard everything you said to the village chief. Please, you got to take me with you. I, I want to find my Grandpa. I, I swear I'll help. I won't be. Ah, so you're the one who was eavesdropping on us around the village. I was planning to go out and take care of whoever it was. But I had a vague feeling that they didn't harbor any... Whoa! Oh, Haven wasn't kidding about Matra having sharp senses. Sino, he's just a kid. All he wants is to find his grandpa. Let's yeah, find to have... Sorry. I was only listening in because I wanted to know where grandpa went. Honest. Vamos ajudar, cara. Vamos ajudar. Right. But first, let's confirm the... Tá bom, bora lá. Vamos lá na Candace. Que está em cima. Confirmar se ele está procurando o voo dele mesmo. Dá para entrar aqui de boa. É aquela casa que a gente estava, né? Ou não? Eu acho que é. 
Ciro pede a Isaac que espere, que espere tá? Ah, you're back already. We just wanted to confirm something with you. Do you know a boy? <laughs> I had a fear. Huh? You knew this? Yes. Although he tried his best to stay hidden, I still noticed him eavesdropping outside the window. He really wants to. Isak's parents were both Aramite mercenaries who rarely returned to the village after finding employment in the city. He was raised by his gra- Unfortunately, it was only a few years before his grandpa passed away. Isak was still very young at the time. Later, an elderly mad scholar arrived at the village. Isak thought the scholar- However, the scholar was unkempt in appearance and incoherent in speech. Although Isak referred to the man as his grandpa, One summer night, the oft mumbling and bumbling grandpa suddenly calmed down. So grandpa walked up to Isak and patted him on the head. He even took Isak to the entrance of the village, where he patiently... The next morning, Isak woke up and wanted to go find his grandpa again, only to realize his grandpa no longer recognized him. However, even... It's said that those who saw the scholar claimed he no longer appeared to be crazy, but appeared to be living in his own... Isak was thrilled that his grandpa was able to find peace and would follow him all the time, asking him things like, Grandpa, want me to take you somewhere fun, or... All this somehow just makes Paimon feel really sad. It seems like they both dis... Perhaps. Nearly everyone who lives in the desert has some form of hardship or regret. But even so, we must still... It's also my reason for fighting. I must continue to protect this land. Parece que o avô lúcido dele era Narida. Talvez ela também tenha acalmado os outros estudiosos enlouquecidos. Pela cara de sino, ele deve ter pensado nisso também. Maybe the people have always had a considerate god watching over them. Huh? What did you say, Sino? No, nothing. As long as Isak keeps his word and doesn't get in our way. Perhaps you are more compassionate than I gave you credit for. Please accept. Vou procurar o vô do garoto. Bom, que a gente explora a nova área também deve, deve nos levar a uma área diferente, talvez. Hey, Isak. Oh, it's you guys. We've cleared everything up. Let's go find you. Really? Wow. Seu avô vai ser encontrado são e sal. Vamos lá. Sonhos vazio e engano. Missão concluída. Aí. Deixa eu vir aqui. Vir aqui. Coletar. Perfeito. Os três magos. E temos. Deixa eu pensar. Conquista. Conquista, vamos ver. Sonhos vazio engano. Complete sonhos vazio engano. Eu acho que é só isso. Não, tem mais aqui. Ó. Siga 10 cílios na floresta. Floresta, vale, reino, campo, sementeira, vanaranas, zumeru. E ilumina o jardim de si. Tá aí. Perfeito. Então... Pergunte por informações aos habitantes locais. O que, que tem aqui também? Ah, o um evento. Tá aí. Deixa eu ver aqui a missão. É a missão, é a missão de Arconte também. Ó. O guardião da vila desaparecido. O rei Tazret, que é aquele Desret, que é aquele rei lá dos eremitas, né? E os três magos. Pergunte por informações dos habitantes locais. Depois de terem aceitado a comissão de Isaac, vocês se procuram por pistas. Kazan, fala comigo, cara. Fala comigo. Excuse me, did you happen to see where the miss... You mean the village keepers? Oh, when I was eating dinner the other day, I saw one of them by the side of the road, muttering away and eating mushroom. Uh... Okay. Um... Anything else? Hmm. 
Tá bom. Mais alguém? Man, man. Sai fora, velho. Shani, tudo bom? Quase não dá pra falar seu nome. Os escolares que foram missing. Have you tá. seen them? Ah, those eyes. Those fierce eyes. You, you look Don't change the subject. Oh, look. Right. You were asking about the uh, I mean, the mad scholars. I think it's been a few days since I last saw them. I usually go to bed pretty early, so uh, but honestly, I feel quite sympathetic towards them. Even though they act a little strange, but do you also think Grandpa and the others are good people? Grandpa? Oh, hello there. It's little Isak. You mean that nice man who looks like your grandpa? <laughs> He was actually the one who protected my house. I saw it with my own eyes. He happened. It still feels pretty surreal now that I think back on it. Did someone teach them how Era to do that? Dentro. Well, whatever the case, I'll always be thankful to him and whoever taught him to look out for others. I'm pretty sure that if I ever went mad, I wouldn't be able to do Gotcha! Thank you! Mais alguém? Miau! Bora. Jabuti, fala comigo. Ajuda nós. Uh, sir, have you seen my grandpa recently? Oh, well if it isn't Isaac. The last time I saw him, he was pacing out by the road as usual. I went and asked him if he'd like any of the food I had prepared, despite my wife's protests. <sighs> and speaking of my wife, she's still always complaining about how I don't make enough mora. I might explain why she's old. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> Valeu, cara. You're looking for him, right? Did it Yeah. Oh, that's no good. Well, once you found him, I've known you since you were very young. So as far as I'm concerned, Your family. Wow, what a nice guy. Okay, thank you, sir. Huh? Que foi? Don't say anything for now. Hmm. Isak, stay here. Let's head over there. Stay quiet as you move. Make it. Alcance sino. Que foi, cara? Listen, see if you can make out what they're saying. Have you heard? The mighty King Deshret, the sovereign of our faith, will soon return to this world. Yes, of course I have. King Deshret is the one and only true ruler of this land. Still, you say he's coming back, but it sure doesn't feel like life's about to change around here. Haven't you noticed? The village has been getting more deranged scholars than ever. Delavar was saying that many people also went insane just before the fall of King Deshret's civilization in ancient times. We don't quite know why, but it seems like there's some sort of connection between insanity. Isn't it a sign of King Deshret's power that all the mad scholars have disappeared? If you ask me, they must have been chosen as the final sacrifice for King Deshret. Huh. Now that you say it, that does make some sense. Exactly. Those city folks will get what's coming to them. Yes. Now, repeat everything you've just said from the very beginning. Huh? Who are you? Uh, where did you come from? My patience is running thin. You heard what I asked. O louco. Tambi, né? Tambi aos 31 yeah. minutos. B bro, this guy's something else. Just look at his eyes. One Let's not get on his bad side, okay? I am no match for this guy. Oh, okay, good sir. W what is it you would like to know? Tell me about King Deshret's resurrection. Well, I I only know a few things from hearsay. 
I went for a drink the other day and heard others talking about a rumor that the madmen will disappear and that King Deshret will return. <sighs> hey, go on. It's true. It's all true, sir. We desert folk have had more than enough of those people at the academia. They keep sending us all their mad scholars and won't let us have a good. Would you want to live like this if you were in our place? The radicals were even more thrilled than me when they heard the news. We're all praying for King Deshret's speedy re- Delavar also said that once King Deshret returns to our side, it's only a matter of time before we conquer the land on the other side of the wall. They're all willing to serve under King Deshret and fight for a share of the glory. Is that so? Uh, seems like he still wants to know more. Keep talking. Ah, uh, got it. I, uh, at first, I told myself it was just the drink talking. But then all the mad scholars vanished without a trace. P please don't beat me up just for mentioning these rumors. I if I'm guilty, then everyone else around here is all- The people here really like King Deshret, but dislike the Dendro Archon. Where is this radical person you talked about? I haven't run into him over the past few days, so he probably hasn't been around the village. Uh, no, uh, not at all. We wouldn't dare lie to you. He's really not here right now. Sounds like you're not too close with the radicals. Uh, no, uh, of course not. All we know are their names. I have many ways to stop you from talking. And many... Uh, so you'd best just stay home and hope I don't hear of you trying to contact anybody. Don't do anything until I've gotten to the bottom of this. Try something foolish? Yes. Yes, got it. We'll do... Bom, temos informações. Let's get Paimon half to death. Sino is pretty terrible. Ainda bem que eu não sou o seu inimigo. He didn't try to reassure us at all. It's like he's used to hearing that. Oh, Paimon, that's lots of people have told him that before. Mais um motivo para você não provocar ele. I heard that. <laughs> Sorry. It's part of being a matra. The rumor we heard just now seems like a strong lead, but we need to check a few more places. Que tal darmos uma olhada pesquisadores na casa, né? Very well. Isaac, uh, I am here. Where's your grandpa's house? Well, I can take you there. Vamos lá. Bom, arrancamos informação daqueles dois. Então tá de boa. Siga Isaac. Opa. Depois eu quero aquilo lá. Ele likes to be alone. Sometimes he stares at the sky in a daze and other times he just pokes at the ground with his fingers. Every now and then he yells out at the top of his lungs, so a lot of people are really scared of him. But he's a good person, really. I know he is. I swear, he, he's just like my real grandpa. O Zongli é xangrita com a morto. Grandpa usually there sure isn't much here. Que cheiro é esse? É a Paimon. Sente o cheiro de incenso? No. Incenso. Incense. Uh, please don't say it's the same one as before. But are you Pero. okay? Are you getting dizzy or need to? There's a scent that you can sense, but I can't. A certain traveler here once passed out from that smell. Thankfully, Tainari saved the day. And then he gave us a long leg. So, you know Tainari? Huh? You know him too? Are you two friends? Yes. Hmm. Now that I concentrate, I can... Wait, surely Tainari didn't lecture you too? No. No need. Eu não consigo lidar bem com esse cheiro. Did you first encounter this scent at Tainari's house? É, foi na floresta. Junto aqui a mulher lá. In the forest. Seremos mais eficientes se nos separarmos. Procure por pistas aos arredores. Espera aí que tem um negócio aqui. Eu quero pegar. Adventure time.
Eu vai assim mesmo, vamos embora. Que? O que houve? Só quero pegar isso aqui, jogo. Ah. E aí, pessoalzinho? Que aquilo? Finalmente. Unsolicited and all the more valuable for it. Unsolicited. Esses esse cogumelinho, né? Fica de boa, não sai. Não sai andando. Bora. Você caiu aqui embaixo tá? e não morreu. Mas sim. Cadê o escudo? Sem meu escudo eu não consigo. Tem alguém ali? É o sino? Tá sentado? Ah. O que, que ele achou? Pegada. O que você está procurando, Sino? Aqui está. Veja aqui. Sino, não tem nada. Mesmo que as traças foram completamente perdidas no sand, do tamanho e do tamanho. They belong to an adult male. This the scent is quite faint, but still extant. Você quer dizer que alguém mais esteve aqui? But who would come looking for Grandpa? He doesn't have a. We'd have to ask whoever lured him away with the incense. Tá. Então usar o incenso. Quem o atraiu? Então foi isso que aconteceu. So you can lure someone away with just the scent? Você tá indo por comida, pai. É verdade. Exactly. Most scholars are fond of incense, since the smell supposedly helps even deep within the clutches of madness. They still yearn for their knowledge-seeking days, and will follow the scent whenever. No. So someone's taking advantage of their weakness? Huh. Still. Será que é para reviver o rei Desret? Desret. Né? Essa é a única pista que temos. Beleza. Mas eu quero ir andando porque tem um negócio que eu não peguei, né? Deixei lá embaixo. Cadê? Aqui está. Bom. Então vamos aqui pegar o teleporte. E pronto. No futuro a gente vai ter como explorar. E pegar os outros teleportes. Primeiro vamos focar aqui na missão. Right. The darker fabric definitely looks a lot better. We're back, Candice. We've got a lot to tell you. Ah, welcome back. É nóis. Falei. <risos> Sounds like everyone's friends already. Oh, Dia's here too. You bet. So. Reasonably. Hmm. All hate them didn't go with you. We haven't seen him at all. E. Huh. I saw him around the village entrance earlier and figured he was investigating with you. Did you find out anything useful? Vocês contam para quem eles que descobriram? I see. So someone used a kind of incense to lead the exiled scholars away from the. 
The resurrection of King Deshret? First I've heard of it. You guys are As far as I know, the kind of incense you just mentioned is only popular beyond the wall. Mas o Ciro ele consegue detectar quem fica de espreita assim, né? Scholars are fond of it, but as you can see, there aren't many scholars still studying around these parts. No, not to mention making incense is a labor-intensive process. You won't see anybody in the desert with the patience to make or sell. It seems someone from beyond the wall must have been supporting this. Makes sense. Hmm. So what should we do then? Do we go back to the academia? If it was any other day, that would be your next logical step. But today, you've got me on your team. So you get an extra tip. Duh. Didn't you say that the villager got his news from the tavern? Well, I also like to drink at the tavern, so I know a thing or two about these radicals he mentioned. If Paimon remembers correctly, the leader of the radicals is some guy called Delavar. Ah, yeah. Delavar, the scar-riddled bandit, Enger, the wide-eyed butcher, and Jabari, the duck-tailed bearded crook. O Jabari é aqui que a gente falou com ele, né? O Jabari não é aquele que eu chamei de Javali? Ele é ladrão. É. These guys have one thing in common, and that's being broke. The rougher life gets, the more they want to believe in King Deshred. Way they see it, King Deshred's resurrection is their only chance at overthrowing the Ek. Certo. Throwing all of Sumeru into chaos is the only way to change the way of life here in the desert. Anyway, that's my. Tia, you're amazing. You really know this place inside. Tia. Daí está piscando para mim. Será que eu não deveria falar nada? No merc can afford to slack off on gathering intelligence. Every more I've spent in the tavern has been a valuable. Let's head out. Now hold on, you're staying right here, Sino. Why? Our village is not a big place. Outsiders stand out here like a sore thumb. I'd bet word about you has already gotten out. The desert is unforgiving, so the way of life here is also a lot tougher than on the outside of the wall. You survive on making connections out here. Compared to you, mercs like me are just third-rate amateurs. I've got no actual fighting skills to speak of. But that also makes it a whole lot easier for me to gain the locals' trust. Duh. I need to go around and ask some questions, but it'll be difficult if you're with me. Fine. There is. Good. Then we've got a plan. For my GDF. The traveler and Paimon will go to Caravan Rebot with me, and we'll try our best to figure out where the mad scholars have been taken. Sino, you'll have to stay in the village and continue investigating on your own. Mano, o Sai não era pra detectar esse cara, ele é bom nisso, não, aí tá errado. Ela viu? Acho que ela viu, hein? Vá para rebaixo das caravanas. Rebaixo das caravanas é aquela cidadezinha, né? Aqui, ó. Bora. Né? Talvez ela quis que o povo soubesse, né? Que ela falou alto ali. Ela, ela viu que o... Ela viu que o cara estava observando. Voltamos para cá. Sounds like you're starting to get familiar with the area. Paimon's amazed every time we see the wall of Samiel. How can a wall this tall? I know what you mean. I had the same question every time I walked this way when I was a kid. Also, why is this high wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? É. Foi a Naida que fez isso, será? It was only after I grew up that I realized the wall of Samiel isn't just there to keep out the sandstorms. It serves a more important purpose. Sumeru is run by wise and mighty sages. To them, us desert dwellers are nothing but tools that can be used. We're cheap labor, like livestock, but easier to control. Not even if a child from the desert got the chance to obtain an Akasha terminal, almost all their requests for knowledge would be denied. The academia believes we're underserving. Geniuses like Sataria are one in a million. The other children never get a single chance to try and rewrite their fate. Even though the academia. That's terrible. Dingy. I would tear down this wall with my own hands if I could.
Mas espero que ela não faça nada pelo drástico. Eu entendo como ela se sente. Not at all. This place just gets me thinking. That's all. Besides, we're here to procure information, aren't we? Yep. We gotta catch those. Shh. Caravan Rebot is crawling with people, so be careful what you say. We don't want anyone to find out what we're here. Our mission started the moment we arrived here. Let's go check out the tavern. Maybe we'll find someone I know. Tá bom. A gente vai explorar um pouco mais que a gente só passou por aqui, né? A gente não explorou a fundo. Vamos ver aqui. Just our luck. None of them are here today. You mean you don't see anyone you know? Dia, is that you? <laughs> What a coincidence. You here for a drink too? Hmm? Zaki. <laughs> Finally, if. Oh. Não ali na frente. What do you have with you here? Guests from another land? Olá. Hello, hello. I'm Zaki. Dia's. Uh... <laughs> We've had drinks together a few times. You could say anyway. As far as my friends here, they aren't too shabby, are they? You rarely. Absolutely. <laughs> Much better than those people on the other side of the wall. Yeah. Have you seen Enger, Delavar, or Jabari recently? Of course I have. Matter of fact, we were all here drinking together. I've got a spice trading deal from another nation. I thought maybe Delavar and his friends might be interested. Know where I could find him? Ah, how thoughtful of you. Then I assume you also know that Delavar's been having a hard time making ends meet. É, isso aí já sabe, né? So you came here to help him out. Está com dificuldade de fechar as contas, por isso veio aqui para ajudá-lo. Hey, keep it down. Let's just say I prefer to keep this deal a secret. Y'all at Caravan Rebot are like family. If there's more to be made. Why not do it together? <laughs> yes, how considerate of you. Don't... Vamos lá então, cara. Vá para o local mencionado por Zaki. Tudo bom, mulher? O que, que você vende aqui? Ah, não, valor. Eu achei que ia ter uma lojinha, eu clicasse ali, sabe? Deixa eu ver onde é que é. Então, deixa para um próximo vídeo, tá bom? É, eu quero ver aqui, ó. Eu estou com 1.200 aguardado aqui de novo. Vamos aqui então trocar. É destino interlaçado o nome, eu sempre esqueço. Tá aí. Destino interlaçado e é, tô com 97. Aí sim, hein? 97. E aqui tô com dois, só dois, né? É isso, galera. Então, ó, próximo vídeo a gente segue a missão, tá bom? A gente segue o próximo vídeo. Essa do rei aí. E missão lendária a gente já tem pra desbloquear algumas, ó. Essa aqui, essa aqui, depois a gente vai, a gente faz elas. Né? É isso. Bom. Amanhã a gente volta e segue, beleza? Espero que vocês tenham gostado. Se puder, deixar o like. Muito obrigado. E até o próximo vídeo aí.